To ensure the balance of power remains in the hands of the people, the framers of the Second Amendment crafted 27 words. One sentence. To succinctly and definitively protect our freedoms from controlling political groups, oppressive religious organizations, or from an abusive government. Time and time again, history replays itself. Unarmed civilizations fall prey to tyrannical leaders. December 15th, 1791. The first 10 amendments to the U.S. Constitution, the Bill of Rights, was ratified by the states. The great American experiment was underway. The notion that people would govern themselves was unprecedented. There were no models, no examples to choose from. For the first time, men enacted into law human rights, not just government-given rights. The authors deemed those rights so important, they made a provision to protect those rights so they could never be taken away. The Second Amendment. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. One of those carefully chosen 27 words are unusual. The sentence is straightforward and crystal clear. There is no mention of limitations or restrictions on the type of arms citizens can carry. There is no mention of gun control, no distinction between sporting use and military use, no language regarding handguns, shotguns, rifles, or even weaponry not yet imagined. What the authors of the Second Amendment did specify is the right of the people, not privilege, to keep and bear arms. 